All right, this is uh, my, my homebrew man pack here. This is just the uh, still the beginning, still working on it. It's a work in progress. You can see I have a uh, Yesu 857, my auto tuner, my left side over here, depending on how you're looking at it. But uh, the antenna over here is just a, it's just a two meter MFJ antenna. It's actually, I think, a dual band two and six meter. But uh, I'm going to stick something different on there, maybe a 440 dual bander, you know, for two meter. And on the other side over here, there's the uh, the stub. I'm going to stick a 20 meter ham stick in there. That's my my goal. Hopefully, we'll see what kind of problems we have with the tuner. If we could tune it down and not have an SWR issue. Uh, basically, got a small little battery here. Um, got my control center there with a couple of LEDs, fuse, uh, switch, two pole switch, double pole switch. I'm sorry. Uh, I want to put some labels on it because what I've got here is I've got uh, battery power, battery power, got a voltmeter in there, um, here's my fuse, sorry, I'm in the way of the camera, there's my fuse, uh, if I turn the switch back up and I go to the top, that's auxiliary power, which will be supplied from my auxiliary posts right there, uh, which does work. I tested that out as well, and um, I made up some banana jacks to come off my power supply. And uh, if I'm indoors over here when I'm home, I'll utilize that. Also, I could hook up my battery charger tender to it and back feed it to charge this battery up here. Let's get a look at what's going on over here. Though. I'm going to turn it on to battery power because I don't have my auxiliary power hooked up right now. So, got the indicator light down there. There's my voltage. Put a couple of fancy blue LEDs up in there. Whew. Two switches. Just to give it some kind of uh, coolness effect. You can see how bright they are. Super bright blue LEDs. Just for the coolness factor. Plus, you know, if you're ever out uh, playing around you need some light, you got plenty of light with those blue LEDs and like I said here's the switches for them and basically that's it, so right now I'm set up on a uh, on a two meter repeater over here in my area and uh, you'll see I'll go and key down and You can see the repeater. Uh, I gotta tell you, the SWR is really not too bad on here. I don't know if you can see in the video. Kind of hard to tell. That SWR indicator on the left side. It's uh, it's pretty low. Could be lower, but I got like I said, it's an. I didn't adjust the uh, the the length of the antenna and stuff with the little screws that I could, but that's pretty much it for now. Uh, still gotta get some straps on the front of this thing, which would be this side. So that I could backpack it if I wish to. And uh, that's it. Pretty much took the idea off of someone on, the, on YouTube. Found it on YouTube. Guy did it with some leftover copper pipe. I took the same theory. Took some copper pipe and uh, soldered everything together. And just threw some paint on it. I did spend some money in this with some of these little aluminum brackets and stuff that I had to buy. That plus the paint. And uh, I was actually short four copper tees they ran me quite a penny I couldn't believe it bought them at the hardware store they were probably seven bucks a piece for a three-quarter copper tee can't believe how expensive it was you know rubber uh, stoppers on the bottom that you can find in your ace hardware store or probably local home depot or something but that's it uh, I'm I think in the future the near future I'm still working on this I am going to hook up banana jacks also, because I have a, uh, a Gold Zero uh, solar power charger to charge stuff up. This way, if I'm out packing and want to use this, I could bring that and uh, hook it up through the banana jacks to back feed the battery, to charge the battery from solar. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, probably one of my first, maybe my second video that I'm posting. I haven't posted a video in years, but uh, that's it.
I plan on posting another one when I actually have this thing uh, hooked up um, with the hamstick outside and see if I can make a couple of contacts. Uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Please comment.